Hi everyone, and in this video we will talk about how that's exactly the stock market work. Okay, um, let's start. If the if the thought of investing in the stock market scares you, you are not alone. Uh, individuals with very limited experience in stock investing are either terrified by horror stories of the average investor losing 50% uh, of their portfolio value. For example, in uh, the two bear markets that have already occurred in the millennium or uh, are beguiled by hot tips uh, that bear uh, the promise of huge rewards by seldom payoff. Uh, it is not surprising then that the pendu uh, pendulum of investments Sen uh, sentiment is said to swing between fear and uh, greed. Uh, the reality is that uh, investing in the stock market carries risk, but when approached in a dis uh, disciplined manner, it is one of the most efficient uh, ways to build up one's net worth. Uh, while the value of, of one's home typical, typically account uh, for most of the net worth of the average in individual, most of the aff affluent uh, and very rich generally have the majority of their wealth invested in stocks. Uh, in order to understand the mechanic of the stock markets, let's begin by developing into the definition of a stock and its different types. So, what is stock? A stock is financial instrument that represents uh, ownership in a company or corporation and represents a pro pro uh, proportionate claim on its assets. Uh, what it owns and earnings, what it generates in uh, profits. Stocks are also called shares or a company's equity. Stocks ownership implies that the shareholders own a slice of the company equal to the number of shares held as a um, proportion of the company total uh, outstanding shares. Uh, for instance, uh, an individual or entity that owns 100,000 shares of company which 1 million outstanding shares would have a 10% ownership stake in it. Uh, most companies have outstanding shares that run into the millions or billions. So, about type of stocks. While there are two main types of stocks, common and preferred, the terms equities, uh, equities is synonyms with common shares as their combined market value and trending volume are many magnitudes larger than, than that of preferred shares. The main uh, distinction between the two is that common shares usually carry voting rights that enable the common shareholder to have a say in corporate meetings, like the annual gener general meeting or AGM, uh, where matters such as election to the board of directors or appointment of auditors are voted upon while uh, preferred shares genera generally do not have voting rights. Preferred shares are so named because preferred, uh, because, uh, one minute, uh, the preferred uh, type of stocks, um, uh, the main distinction between the two is common share usually carrying voting rights that enable the common shareholder to have a say in corporate meetings like the annual general meeting or AGM, where matters such as election to the board direction or appointment of auditors are voted upon while preferred shares generally do not have voting rights. Preferred shares are so named because preferred shareholders have priority over common 
shareholders to receive dividends as well as assets in the events uh, a liquidation. Common stocks can be further classified in ter uh, terms of their voting rights, uh, while the basic promise of common shares is that, that they should have equal voting rights, one vote per share held. Some companies have dual or multiply classes of stock with different voting rights attached to each class. In such a dual class structure, class A share, uh, shares, for example, may have 10 votes per, per share. Uh, while the class B subordinate voting shares may only have one vote per share. A dual or multiply class share structures are designed to enable uh, the founders of a company to control its fortune, strategy, direction and ability to innovate. Why companies issue shares? Today, corporate uh, giant like had its start as a small private entity launched by a visionary founder a few de de uh, decades ago. Think of Jack Ma incubating Alibaba Baba, from his apartment in Hangzhou, China in 1999. Over Mark Zuckerberg finding a founding the earliest version of his book, Now Meta, uh, from his Harvard University dorm room in 2004. Technology giants like this have become among the biggest company in the world within a couple of decades. Mm, however, growing such a uh, frantic pace requires access to a massive amount of capital. Uh, in order to make that transition from an idea germinating in an enterprise Brainers brain to an operating company, they need to lease an office or factory, hire employees, buy equipment and raw materials, and put in place sales and distribution network, uh, among other things. Uh, their resources require significant amount of capital depending on the scale and scope of the business startup. Raising capital. A startup can raise such capital either by selling shares, equity financing, or borrowing money, debt financing. Debt financing can be a problem for a startup because it may have a few assets to pledge for a loan, especially in sectors such as technology or biotechnology, where a firm has few the uh, tangible assets plus the interest on the loan law, uh, would Im impose a financial burden in the early days when the company may have no revenues or earnings. Equity financing, uh, equity financing therefore is the preferred road for most startups and need capital. The entrepreneur may initially source um, for, uh, funds from personal savings as well as friends and family to get the business off the ground as the business expands the, and capital requirements. Become more sub, sub, uh, sub, sub, substantial and entrepreneur may turn to angel investors and venture capital uh, firms. So. For today's haul, um, give me a like please and goodbye.